Hey YouTube, it's Sean. And this is how you wire up a double pull, double throw switch. In other words, uh, you got forward, you got off, and forward in reverse in your switch. Okay, so this is how it's done, guys. Alright, let's bring you in here. Hopefully a little closer. There you go. Alright. Just wired this one up quickly so you guys could see it. Alright. First thing you need to do is cross. Doesn't matter which end of the switch you start with. You start with these two or these two. Cross the one on the on the right with the one on the left and you can leave yourself a tail like I did to connect to same thing here left to right on the far end okay there to there leave yourself a tail okay and on the these ends you just connect them connect them solid and that way, these two are crossed. There you go. It's just an X pattern. And leave yourself a tail on the end if you like, or you could connect directly to the post. The other end, you can connect wiring to it in the center two, left and right. Alright, and then you can leave yourself a tail if you want, or direct connection to your power supply. Power supply goes to the two center posts. Okay? So these two do nothing except for sit there connected. That's it. Okay, so you got these two go to your motor. And these, or whatever you want to reverse, usually it's a motor. And these two go to your power. These two do nothing. Okay? So if you want to forward and reverse a motor, that's how it's done. It's a, it's a simple deal. And that way you have forward and reverse and off in the, in the center position. Ooh. Hammer's not wanting to focus today. But there it is. That's all you got to do. It's just a crisscross. These two, and these two, and those are the power. Leave these two just connected to these ends. Okay. Take care, guys. Just thought you wanted to see that. Hopefully, it'll help somebody along the line. Remember, if you watch, thumbs up. Take care, guys. Bye bye.